hope everyone is well welcome back to the diva caramels channel and today i'm here to do like a kind of review and a show and tell with these um eyeshadows that i absolutely fell in love with okay a lot of you guys may know about them already but i wanted to come and show you kind of like what i have and tell you a little bit about them okay so is the coastal saints hot pots okay yeah so i i had the creative one palette and that's when I um, really found out about the shadows and the quality of them. So when I I signed up to the site and then you know you get emails and stuff. So they sent me they send me emails where they have sales and stuff right and they always have really good sales. So they sent me emails and the shadows were 99 cent US. Yeah, so that's when I took the chance and got quite a few of them. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you them and tell you my thoughts on them and stuff like that yeah so this was the this was the creative one palette that I first got and this came with um, 12 eyeshadows okay and they were all bright colors but as I purchased like other hot pots and stuff I decided that I would change this um, palette because they can be removed i decided that i'll change this palette into a contour and highlight palette okay so that's what i did yes using only coastal scent hot pots yes so i'll show you that now okay so this is what this is what it looks like okay and let me tell you i have used the queen bronzer to contour with i have used um sleek contour palette in dark and have never gotten a color to quite suit my skin tone it was either too red tone or too dark yeah so when I saw the shades of bronze they had available I decided you know I'll get quite a few of those shades to contour with and stuff for different skin tones but lo and behold I found an actual face contour color okay so that color is I'll take it with the palette for you guys. So there's two that you can that I can you can use. Okay, that are quite similar. This one is chocolate here. Okay, a really nice brown. It is a straight up brown. It doesn't have no much red on the tones or anything like that. Or it's not too dark. It's just a straight up brown. And that's what I use. You might not see it because I do a slight contour, but that's what I use to contour my face with. And then this one is a similar color. This is Deep Rose. Another straight up brown, no red on the tones, anything like that. So these two colors I really liked for, you know, dark skin ladies to contour with. And then if you're a little shade lighter, I use the Harvest Brown. Yeah. And I'll swatch a couple of these colors so you can see what I'm talking about okay so that's the harvest brown this one kind of blends into my skin tone so that's why I use this to contour lighter skin ladies but the deep rose and the and the chocolate here look at that such a nice nice brown tone color to contour ladies in W45 47 you know yeah and once you use a light hand obviously it looks a lot dark here because you know I concentrated it in one area but once you use a light hand you will get a really nice contour and for the nose for you know for us darker ladies if you don't want a strong contour in the nose you can use the Harvest Brown okay so yes that's my contour and highlight palette this color I used to highlight under my brow this one and this one yes yeah, so this is my highlight and contour palette that I created I didn't have to purchase the you know you see a lot of expensive ones going around the Anastasia um, contour palette I saw quite a few others you know but that one was the closest to my mind and they were kind of pricey so you know when I got these shadows and I was and the thought crossed my mind to like create
spray a contour palette with it it was like wow okay that's brilliant so yeah so that's my contour palette okay on to the other hot pots i this one is a palette also from Coastal Saints. They sell the palette separate and they always send you this eye heart makeup um, little tag that I like to stick on the on the palettes. Yeah, so this one is all shimmer or like metallic light colors. And what you see here is like the true colors. Okay. And I, I did some swatches of this one on my Instagram account. So if you want to check that out, you can check out the Diva Caramel on Instagram. I have the swatches there. But I'm going to give you a few of my faves in this one. And this one don't have a name, but it's HP-ME24. I'll probably um, I'll put the favorite ones down bottom. I can't put all because there are quite a few. But I'll put the favorite ones that I like down bottom. Okay, so this one is a really 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 nice gold and I'll swatch it for you that's one swatch really nice gold okay I also like this this coral blossom a really nice peachy color and peaches in for you ladies that have spring and summer and what's not but here in the caribbean i mean barbados we is either rainy weather or sunny weather so there's no spring and stuff for us but a lot of people have been loving corals and peaches and stuff for spring okay so there's a really nice coral color if you want to catch this one at um coastal saints and i'll swatch that one as well nice curly color also in this palette I'm really liking another this reddish tone color like a winey light color wine berry and that is one swatch look at the pigmentation of these colors hardly any fallout um, when I swatch them and a really good color payoff so you know if you base your eyes and stuff um, the type of color payoff you will get from these shadows so they're on par with the high end um, shadows yeah so you can't go wrong um, when you get them on special and it's 99 cent per um, shadow and the shadow is like a 25 cent piece if you want to determine the size yeah so that's the all shimmer ones and then I also got another one here which is all matte again some really really nice colors um, seeing out now the Urban Decay electric palette and the colors are really nice yeah but the price you know I ain't sure <laughs> because I guess it's the name the the brand Urban Decay and, and that's known for quality shadows and stuff but I still would prefer to take the money and get this holes I think 26 or 28 colors and I think it's gonna be still less than that palette okay and also the pigmentation a bit of these colors kind of you know matte colors tend to be a little more difficult to work with than shimmers and stuff yeah but these colors are still really nice one of my favorites um is this purple one in this palette and i think this one was in the creative one palette that i switch over and this is cm07 a really nice purple and that's the swatch of it there another color that I've been liking in this palette is this um, this one doesn't have a name but this one is CM05 and it's like a red tone orange or orange tone red either way and this is the swatch of that down here this one here is a nice 
You have a lot of nice greens. It's just a nice array of colors. For you to choose then, from. This, these are not hot pots, but I also want you to share this. And this is what I use to create my look today. I use the this eyeshadow. Another peachy color. I highlighted my face with this gold color here. I use this for blush. Yeah. So you can get a whole look out of this one. And this one is the 26 Shadow Blush Palette. Yeah. And it's like non neutral colors. And these are the same size as the Hot Pots. Yeah. But be, instead of having to go through, because there are like over 300 colors, I think it is, in the hot pot. So instead of having to go through all looking for neutral colors, I decided to just get this one, this um 26 Shadow Blush Palette. Okay, so I'm gonna... Let me swatch the blush. And this is a nice blush for a dark skin person. Okay, it's like a, a berry purpley like color. I hope you can see it. Yeah. And you want to use on my eyes earlier. It's another peachy tone. This is it right here at the end. Yeah, my hand is a bit messy now. <laughs> So there's no more space to swatch but you get the drift you get the drift of how nice these um shadows are okay so yeah i look at the 26 and all these ones up here are blush blushes and if you're dark and some of them you can use some of them as like a highlight this one here this one here is a nice you just make sure i get a clean finger a nice bronzy light color so for women of color that could be like a nice a nice highlight color yeah so I just wanted to share these Coastal Saints hot pots with you guys and I will leave the link to the site which in a lot of you guys probably already know about the site but I wanted to share the ones I have I wanted to share a few of my favorites with you guys and I'll leave those down bottom that you can check them out and and yeah you you too can create your own palettes because you got numerous colors to choose from and you can choose the ones you want and buy the palette separate and create the palettes you want and that's what I did. I did that and I made one um, matte colors, one shimmer and metallics and then the other one a contour palette. Okay? So yeah. That's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw some colors you liked and you probably think of getting and you can also do like me and create your own contour palette. If you can't find the right shade contour, you can, as I said, you can probably try the deep rose or the chocolate here. Yeah these two colors and see if those work for you yeah so that's it guys thanks for watching and don't forget to thumbs up the video don't forget to you know suggest any videos you want to see check me out on instagram at the and oh, also i have a giveaway going on now for you ladies here in barbados that show my instagram um so much love i wanted to do right on the hill is coming up here in barbados as a um popular um kind of like festival that happens yearly and i wanted to do a makeup makeover for one of you ladies so yeah one of you ladies um will win a makeup makeover from me that's going right down the hill so just check out my channel and enter there and you never know you'll be um eligible to win the makeup makeover okay yeah so check out my instagram it's at the diva caramel d-e-d-i-v-a-c-a-r-a-m-e-l yeah on instagram i post here pictures nail pictures i do giveaways on there as well yes because you ladies show me you ladies here show me lots of love but that's kind of like me giving yes. back so, to you guys okay? thanks again for watching i'll see you on my other video bye